Friday and welcome to Vlogmas Day 15 and the last day of school before winter break. Oh, can you hear the angels singing? I sure can because I am exhausted, as is every other teacher I know. So teachers, well, in our school anyway, we made it. If you're still going for another week or two, bless your souls. And not another week or two, I guess, because Christmas is in the midst of that. But I know my granddaughter goes to like next Wednesday or Thursday. So bless y'all souls if you are still going to school, but we are so grateful to be out and we have a half day. It is a 1.15 and I'm done. I'm ready to pack up and get out of here. So I got all my Christmas decorations down. Oh, I always forget. I'm so sorry. Hi, my name is Ivy. <laughs> so glad you're here. <laughs> um, I have my area reset. I started trying to film a time lapse of it. Uh, because I was kind of taking it down throughout the, the day. And then I was like, I'm ready to get this down. I'm ready to go home. I'm not filming. I'm sorry. I love you. You saw me put it up. I'll play it in reverse if you really want it. I'll put it on tomorrow's vlog. <laughs> I'll play the put up in reverse, taking it down. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, um, yeah, my normal stuff is back out. And it actually feels real nice. I've missed those decorations. And they're so cute. I set them up in a slightly different order, which makes me so happy. So anyhow, I was going to show you. It's pajama day. So these are my cozy jammies. These were my Christmas jammies several years ago. But I love them so much. Uh, and they were just perfect for today. And then I'll show you the elf here in a minute. But I'm going to show you the gifts that I got today. Sorry, I'm breathing hard. I'm tr I'm struggling to breathe. <laughs> so I'm very congested still. I feel fine. I'm very tired today. But I don't feel like, you know, like when you're like sick, you're just like worn down. I don't quite feel like that. But I just, I feel fine as far as sickness goes. I am tired. I am congested. I am slightly start struggling to breathe. So <laughs> we're going to make it, okay? All right, so I got a couple, oh yeah, and the coughing continues, so bear with me. If it's choppy again, man, when I was editing last night, I was like, this is so choppy because there was so much coughing. Today, my coughing hasn't been as bad, so we'll just pray it keeps up with that. So, gifts. I got several gifts today, Not nothing big, and I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Okay, so first thing I got this morning was this little baby, um, a young girl. She's actually given me, I think, two other ones, maybe three. Has she given me all of these? Let me show you. I know she gave me the Eeyore and the Dumbo. I, th I think I bought the Marie, but maybe I didn't. Um, but she gave me a Tigger now. Man, my little Zoom Zoom Tower is toppling. Oh, no. It's just going to get worse. There we go. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. It's not even right. Hold on. Let's fix this. Right? It'd be two, one. Oh, wait. But I still have two more. Okay. We'll just stack them right here against this part. I guess Minnie doesn't have to be with Mickey, huh? And now Tigger on top. <laughs> Oh, they're like toppling. It's okay. It's cute. These are like real, quote unquote, real Tsum Tsums. They're the more expensive ones. These are all the Dollar Tree ones. You know, they're just as cute. They're not like fuzzy like these. And I still need sadness. I haven't really looked for her. But um, anyway, so my sweet little girl added to my collection. And I just, she's so precious. Okay, and I got a few more Christmas cards. This is from a student, Mary Grinchmas. And she wrote a sweet little note in there. It says, I love you, Miss Ivy. And then this is from our school board. And y'all, have you ever seen it? such a pretty card? Maybe somewhere in the world, fawns have spots during the snow. But where we live, fawns do not have spots during the snow. <laughs> fawns come in the spring, and by snow time, they're big. Some of them might even be mating. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's yearlings that mate. One way or another, they don't have spots anymore by the snow. Um, okay, and then this is from our sweet custodian. She got me Reese's Pieces and this beautiful hand-painted ornament. Like, hand-painted by her. <laughs> She's so talented and so amazing. 
got screaming children again today. Bear with me. <laughs> She's having a major meltdown. Bless her heart. I think it is too much birthday, if you know what I'm saying. Actually, you probably don't know what I'm saying. It's a very obscure Bernstein Bears book where Sister Bear just loses her mind. And that's what pa Mama and Papa Bear say is too much birthday. And that is now, it's like the phrase I have used for ever and ever <laughs> to describe when a kid's having a meltdown. Too much birthday. <laughs> I showed you both of my cards? Yes, I did. Okay. I don't know if you can hear her. Okay. And another gift. This is from a student also. <clears throat> Some Corgi sticky notes. Three hand creams, which I'm sure smell amazing. I love peony. Uh, silk peony, satin tulip, and aroma rose. Very nice. And the most delightful candle. This is like, I just did that Bath and Body Works haul the other day. And those one fragrances that were more masculine, this is like that. So, I mean, this is right up my alley. I know she doesn't watch my vlogs or anything. At least I don't think. Gayla, if you watch my vlogs, comment. <laughs> That's the mom's name, not the kid, sorry. Um, anyway, this is right up my alley. This is very uh, manly. Does it have a... Oh, it's called Winter Woods. And it's from Dollar General. Um, but man, I have bought Dollar General candles before, and they have zero scent throw, but I can tell that one's going to be pretty potent in a good way. In a, <laughs> in a good way. Okay, so there's my sweet gifts. I mean, honestly, I'm glad. You know, you get so many. Sometimes it's like, what in the world do I do with this? You know, so... Sweet and special, and I'm grateful. And I am grateful for that. So, yeah, my room is reset. And, oh, wait. No, that deer card was not from the school board. That deer card was from our secretary in our building. I see my school board card right here. <coughs> this was our school board card. Very pretty got glitter balls on it so okay I got three Christmas cards today all right I have all these straws left from my gifts I might put them in the treasure box actually but um, they're just gonna stay right here on my desk for the time being because I don't want to deal with them at the moment okay that's all I am going to get out of Dodge and go take a nap and we're going somewhere tonight so I'll bring you along with that at least for a little bit and then I don't know what else we're gonna get into today but maybe it'll be a short one. <laughs> Not likely, huh? Jokes, right? Never mind. I forgot to show you my elf. <laughs> I got up to leave and I'm like, oh, my elf's still here. Okay, he all he did was move his throne over here. This Lego throne has been the hit of the season. These kids have loved it. Um, but he moved his throne over here, which it was sitting on the village, if you remember, over by the Christmas tree. Uh, so he moved his throne here, and then his note says, Dear Mrs. Ivy's class and all third and fourth grade, thank you for welcoming me into your school. It's been so much fun. I have to stay at the North Pole now to help Santa. I won't need as much magic since I won't be returning, so you can hug me today. Merry Christmas, love, Snowflake. So... There's his little note for the children, and they loved hugging him today. They were very skeptical, some of them. They did not think that they could hug him, and I had to very much convince them with his note that it was okay. So we should all, well, we'll hug, we'll hug Snowflake. I'll hug him for everybody, okay? We should tell Snowflake goodbye. Goodbye, Snowflake. And thank you for having a fun Christmas season with us. And we are so grateful that you came to our classroom. So I'm sure my, my YouTube family is grateful for you. I know a lot of them have given really nice comments. And they've really enjoyed all the elf shenanigans. So bye, Snowflake. Bye, YouTube family. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go home. Hello, 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 everybody. My name is Chet Winkerton, and welcome to Who's Going Home, a game show where customers can decide who's going home. 
Uh, for our first contestant tonight, it's Vicky Bevins. Hi, Chet. I can't believe I'm on national TV. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Uh, you're excited to be here? You bet, Chet. This is my first ever Christmas tree. You're Jewish? No, I mean my own tree for my own apartment. Oh. Well, are you excited to get started? You bet, Chet. All right, for our first contestant, coming all the way from across the Atlantic, it's Scottish Fur. Uh, hello, we lost. It's good to see ya. <laughs> Hello? And our second contestant, it's Noble Fur. Greetings and salutations. Wow, that is noble. And our third contestant, it's Dougie. Um, excuse you, I'm a fur. Douglas Fur? You called everyone else by their proper name. How come I have to go by some silly nickname? How is that fair? Hello, Dougie. It's Douglas. And our fourth contestant, it's Virginia Pine. How y'all doing? I'm just tickled at the big and soon to be here. Hello, Virginia. Um, excuse me, is she flocked? I wasn't told that we could be flocked. Um, how is that fair? May I be a manager? Oh, Dougie. It's Douglas. Alright. <laughs> Are you prepared for your first question? You bet, Chet. Tree number one, what's your ideal place in my apartment? Uh, well, any place in the drawer is perfect for like me. I have no idea what she just said. No one ever does. That's not true. Um, excuse me, does she have an accent? I was not told that we could bring an accent. How is that, Sam? <laughs> Number two, what's your ideal, what's your perfect Christmas Eve? The festivities begin when the light, the sun goes down, the lights go up. Did you know in the old times whenever they didn't have electricity, they used to use candles? All very majestic. Sounds like it. Tree number four? Um, excuse you, I'm tree number three. Can she just skip me? How is that fair? How many presents can fit under you? Well, aren't you just the thing ever for asking? Darling, you can trim my lower branches if you need a scosh more room. In fashion, hemlines go up and down. I'd just be punch pleased to be your tree. Oh, I'd be pleased as punch or eggnog. I could be thrilled as cocoa if given a chance. But you're not giving me a chance, are you? <laughs> uh, we have time for... One more question. Huh, tree number one, what's your long-term goal? Uh, well, what? What do you want to do after Christmas? I don't know. Tree number two, same question. Well, I haven't really put much thought into it. Maybe I should invest some time to think about it. Tree number four? Um, excuse you, what happened to three? <laughs> well, I don't write no sugar. I do know that tomorrow's another day, and we don't know what will happen. Uh, we haven't told them what happens after. Oh, I know. Dougie? It's Douglas. We're all decorated up before Christmas. Everyone oohs and ahs. Christmas Day is the bomb. And then we're hauled to the curb and chucked in the trash. Oh my gracious. Is that the truth of it? I proven. Is that true? Um, well, I don't want to hurt anybody. No, it's what we live for. What we were born for. You know, Chet, I think I'm going to go with an artificial tree this year. Is that your final choice? It is, Chet. Thank you for the opportunity. Well, contestants, I'm afraid nobody's going home. Thanks a lot, Dougie. Ah, you lost a knob job. <laughs> you shattered my dreams, Douglas. Excuse me, how is this my fault? This isn't fair. It's not fair. It isn't fair. Well, that's it for our episode. Tune in next time. For Who's Under the Mistletoe, brought to you by Candy Cane Lip Gloss. <laughs>
Billy? I do have a big noggin, Judge. And that that is his sister. Uh, objection? How do we know that that's his sister? Uh, she's petting a unicorn. Who else would be petting a unicorn? Uh, that is a unicorn, isn't it, Billy? Yes. Okay, but that's not the only infraction broke, is it? Where were you the night of September 23rd? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember? You don't remember watching the Cartoon Marathon? The Cartoon Marathon, which waited three weeks to watch. The one where you canceled your game, your softball practice, a game where you were going to play shortstop to watch. Oh, yes, I remember now. And did you or did you not refuse to do your chores? I mean, I'm making your poor mother, who had just got home from work, take out the trash. It was the last five minutes of a marathon. Objection, Your Honor. The prosecutor isn't letting my client fully answer the question. Okay. Go ahead, Billy. In your words, tell us what happened. It was the last five minutes of a cliffhanger. You can't just let those go on ended or else they'll throw off the rest of the season. Okay, so you didn't do your chores. Well, no. But I saw how sad my mom was and I said sorry and offered to clean up the dog poop. I see. You see, he even said he was sorry and he offered to clean up the most heinous of crimes. Tona's dog poop. Billy, I need to ask you I need to ask you a question and I need you to be one hundred percent honest with me. Yes, Your Honor. Did you say that you're sorry because you're actually sorry? Or did you say you were sorry because you had already broken an infraction on the not a nice uh, list and you would have been put on there? Well, at first that's why, but you, you see, not sorry. I rest my case, Judge. But then I saw how tired and sad my mom was and that's why I offered to use the extra time. But you weren't initially sorry. No, Your Honor. See, not sorry. My case is done. I understand. Defense, is there anything else you'd like to add? People change, and I believe my client saw the error of his, of his ways. To put him on the naughty list would be an obstruction of justice. Uh, I object. What do you mean you object? Uh, I object. I objected to you first. I objected first. <laughs> so you say... Enough. I make my ruling. The issue here isn't whether or not that Billy belongs on the naughty list. The law clearly states that we cannot hit our sisters no matter what they've done. Or not do our chores. Or not do our chores. Hey, stop! Hey, stop! I'm gonna tell! I'm gonna tell! Quit! Quit! Silence in my chambers! Clearly, this case has brought out the emotional turmoil that we have all faced throughout this year. So, the question we must ask ourselves is whether the intent was to be naughty. And I don't, I do not think that Billy had that intent. Who would not want to watch the cartoon marathon in its prime? It's the bomb! Right! And since the holidays are a time for forgiveness, Billy, I'm gonna take you off the naughty list. <sighs> but I must say, you need to learn from your mistakes. Because if you do not learn from them, we do tend to repeat them. Thank you, Honor. I have learned from my mistakes and I won't do them again. Good. And perhaps it is in the spirit of forgiveness that you two can put down your differences and be friends. I guess you're right. Friends? Friends. Ah, peace at last. And if peace can happen here, perhaps there is hope for us all. Billy, you're free to go. Thank you, Your Honor. Can, can someone please give me a hot cocoa? I really think this is going to be a very long night. Oh, thank you. Yes, please, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Delicious. Well, we just got done with the play at the school. It was actually really, well, started out a little rough. They were younger and they were just learning, but it got really, really funny. And so many of our youth kids were in it, but now we're here to eat some dinner. So I'm going to stop. Okay. We finished dinner. I totally forgot to show you guys what I was eating, but, um, anyway, it <laughs> doesn't really matter. Scotty scared me at the door cause he's like, watch out. And there was somebody coming out, but they were like not even close. So I could have finished saying what I was saying, but now we're doing a little Christmas shopping at the tractor supply for Scotty.
So, hey, we need a new one of these. Will this fit in that thing? Or is it a very specific size? Very specific. Mm, okay. All right. So, yep, we're going to do a little Christmas shopping here and then over at Walmart, too. And that is all. So, if there's anything else interesting that comes up, I'll bring you along. Well, we are home. It's like 9 o'clock. Oh, it's 9.16. Well, you haven't been home for very long. But, um... Ended up finding something for my niece. Not exactly what I was looking for, but it'll work. I don't make my bed anymore, okay? It's fine. We just live here. Um, but my nephew's Christmas present came in while we were gone. Uh, it's super cool. I'm so excited about it. I ordered it off of an ad, and I was a little bit nervous about it. You'll see it in my, like, um, what I got my people for Christmas video. That will come out after Christmas. Sorry. I hate being like that, but... Um, It'll be a great idea for next year. Uh, and I really wish I would have ordered one for Riley's boyfriend, Caleb, but I didn't. And this took quite a while to get in. I'm actually going to look and see when I ordered it and how long it took to come in. Because if I can get another one in time for Christmas, I'm going to order him one because it's super cool. I thought about giving one of these to the to him, but, and like get something else for, there's one in here, two, two nephews. Um... I'm not going to do that. So I'll either think of something else for Caleb or see if I can get one ordered for him. So sorry for the uh, vagueness, but they're super cool. I'm excited about it. Um, and then at Walmart, I got my Christmas dress. Uh, it's super cute. I'll try it on for y'all maybe tomorrow. Riley's taking a shower. so. Um, but it's corduroy and it's from Walmart and it was normally 20 bucks, but it was on clearance. They already have all the Christmas clothes and like winter clothes on clearance for $11. So I was like, uh, yes, please. So I got the extra large size and it's just really cute. It's like a burgundy color. And then I should have brought Riley's in here. Found one for her. It's kind of a like fitted, almost like it would be like a sweater dress, but it's not really a sweater. Um, it's more of like a ribbed like knit which would make you think it was a sweater, but <coughs> anyhow, I should just go get it, but I'm sorry, I'm not going to. Same color, so we will coordinate, but it was only $6 on clearance, so I was like, uh, yes, that's perfect. Um, but that's all I have for you guys today. <laughs> we got two gifts at Tractor Supply, and I got no Christmas gifts at Walmart, so that's a bummer, but it's fine. Um, okay. I did want to talk about a couple of things. So one, as a delivery driver, I finally used the Keurig today and y'all, I have not been turning it on the last couple of days. And of course, a day that I don't turn it on, somebody comes and he waited eight minutes <laughs> for that thing to warm up and get his coffee and make his coffee and everything. So, um, I will try really hard to make sure to turn it on every day from now on, especially, you know, if he comes again, he's going to be like, uh, yeah, <laughs> I can get a cup of coffee mid trip, you know? Um, oh yeah. I was going to tell you too, that my boss this morning, um, was the Grinch and he was up on the roof of the school and all the kids loved it. And it was so, so cute. And he was scaring me half to death. I thought he was going to fall off the roof multiple times. It was so fun. It was, it was just a cute day. And then I actually had a really fun day because my start of my morning, I'm like, I'm going to have such a boring day. I'm not going to have anything to do, but a girl needed to reach her AR points reading goal. And so I got to read with her for like the first hour of the day. So that was actually pretty fun. Just like one-on-one -on -one time with me and her, which, um, I had her for a while and then, um, they stopped sending her to my class. <clears throat> and so, uh, she's just a sweet girl. So that was nice for the both of us that she got to come to my class today and just read with me. Yeah, I, I feel like I was going to say something else about today, but I can't remember what it was. But it was just a good, it was a good day. It was a nice day. I got a nice nap after school. Um, like, like I've been saying, I don't feel bad. Although right now, my eyes feel really heavy and kind of like hot-ish. But I think I'm just really tired. So um, <clears throat> another thing I was going to say to y'all is, and I need to check for an update, 
but a friend of mine's baby has been sick with RSV and in Children's Hospital and you guys, I don't think she'll mind me saying it on here at all. Um, but it's, if you look at my comments at all, it is Sky in the comments and she is just a really sweet friend. I've had her, had a fr I've been friends with her in my personal life for a long time. And she's also a big supporter of my channel, but that's way beside the point. But her sweet baby has been in Children's Hospital for two or three days now with RSV <clears throat> and sick with it for a week. And um, so I'm just popping on here to say, please, um, I know so many of y'all are huge prayer warriors. Please be praying for um, their family and especially the baby and you know mom and dad are wore out and little and big sister is probably missing her little sister and um, her parents and everything being in the hospital so um, again I haven't checked for an update today so hopefully they are home because they were going to start weaning her on oxygen but um, I have meant for the last two days to tell you guys to be praying but regardless even if they go home RSV is a long you know long recovery. So just be praying for, um, for the family. And I would appreciate that. And I know they will too. So, so sky, we love you so much. And, um, I know you're going to have a lot of people praying for you now, more people than you already have praying for you. Um, okay. So I think that's all I want to talk about. So now let's open my advent calendar. All right. Back to the dungeon with y'all. Sorry. Okay. Advent calendar time. All right, day 15, All right, we're back to coming down, pulling down. All right, what have we today? Oh my goodness, Riley's gonna lose it. It's Pua. So cute. Or he, I guess Pooh is probably a boy. Look at those big old ears. Did I get a Moana? I kind of think I got Moana. If I did, we definitely got to put Pooh with Moana. If not, well, I drop him every day. You know I'm going to drop it. Um, you should take bets how long it's going to take me from the time I open it till if I drop it. If I drop it right out of the package or if it's while I'm trying to talk about it or while I'm trying to put it on the shelf, I cut those out usually. <laughs> A lot of times I drop it trying to put it up on the shelf on the end. Oh, about dropped it again. Um, anyhow, so actually my sister just texted me, so I need to text her back, but it's kind of too late. I was just going to ask her about a size, but anyway, it's fine. So Erin, I'll text you back in just a second after I close this out. <clears throat> my husband just sent me a message, so I just need to close this vlog out. Pua and I are going to go. So thank you all so much for coming along with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down in the comment, bo comment box. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you have not already so you don't miss any future content. Um, please be praying for Sky and her family. Um, again, Sky, we love you. And um, with that, I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.